Hey guys, my name is Doug with infotainment.com. Today I'm going to tell you guys how to update your Mazda Connect infotainment system to the latest and greatest update. As of November 2020, it's 70.00 or higher. Um, what's great about that update, not only does it fix random little bug or random issues with your Mazda Connect, but it also gives you the opportunity to install Apple CarPlay and Android Auto capability in your Mazda. We do carry a kit at infotainment.com. It's a replacement media hub as, long, as well as, as a, a few wires or USB cables to get that up and running. Um, but this is going to be a very brief video. I'm going to show you guys step-by-step step how to do it. What's important to know is if you have the update 29.00 or lower, you will need two of uh, two USB updates. If you have 30.00 or higher, you just need one. Now, we can supply this to you guys, but just be sure it's for your vehicle only. If you take it out of yours and you put another one, there could be issues. So it's just for your Mazda specifically uh, when you get the USB stick from infotainment.com. Um, so let me show you a few things before we get started. Um, basically, in order to tell what software level you're at currently, you're gonna press a few series of buttons. To enter the engineering menu on the Mazda Connect, you're gonna press three buttons. Your music button, your favorite button, and your mute button. By pressing those three at the same time for three seconds, you'll notice on your Mazda Connect screen, we'll go into that menu. So we'll do that now. All right, now that we're done with the software update, let's go ahead and take a look to make sure we have the latest and greatest. You did notice that some of the icons and things are a little bit different. You have Now you have the latest and greatest operating system on your Mazda Connect. So here we are, 70.00 North American version. Uh, the fail safe has been updated as well. This is the latest and greatest update as of November 2020.